Hey there. Thank you for joining me, Stanley, on the Saturday. Um, last week talked some about our need for, for self-reflection. Uh, that we, we do have to be very intentional at looking at ourselves and who we currently are and where we're currently at and making sure that we are moving forward toward who we truly want to be. And today, I, it'll kind of overlap, but I want to look at something that is kind of similar, but is also a bit different. In some ways, it's kind of asking the question, well, what if we aren't that intentional? Uh, because I know a lot of times I'm not. I'm very busy. I'm caught up in doing a whole bunch of different things. I'm not extremely intentional making sure that I follow after this one idea of where I want to be moving forward. The the one year, five year, 10 year plan. And that I'm you know writing these out word for word and saying I'm taking steps X, Y, and Z to get to these places in the, in the future. Uh, we talked about how it's very important for us to do that. But what happens if we don't? I think a lot of us can kind of understand that we don't do something that intentional. Some of us, for some of us, that's on purpose. We we don't like being that intentional. We kind of, you know, shudder at the thought of setting out some things, such intentional goals and working so hard. We think that it should be easy. It should be natural. We want to give space to naturally develop as we believe we should. Uh, for a lot of us, it comes because we are always so busy. There are so many things that are trying to get our attention. And it is so easy for us to jump over there and quickly try to get something accomplished over there. And then, you know, this big news thing comes up and all of a sudden it's like, oh man, there's this need. I'm going to do this. And then another need comes up or there's another news story or there's another project that you get interested in. Um, or maybe you enter new stages of life. So um, you go from being in school to starting a job to starting a family to kids growing up and getting older and um, all the additional responsibilities it has. And we get busier and busier and we just never have the chance to really think about the kind of person we're becoming, to, to really intentionally sit and say, I'm going to be that person. And so we drift or coast, if that word suits you better. We just kind of coast. We, we coast in our job because, you know, yeah, you're getting this stuff done and things are happening. And so you, you just kind of coast or you coast in your relationships and you allow them to exist and you might start noticing you're not really around people as much as you were before, but you're still connecting in relationships with others, but it's just kind of coasting. Or you do it in your personal life and the personal projects that you had, the, the dreams and desires that you had when you were younger. They never move forward. They just kind of exist back there. And and your, your personality, um, you're not attempting to develop new skills. You're not attempting to change anything about your personality. You're just allowing yourself to be. You just coast. And even for those of us who uh, believe deeply in spirituality, our spiritual life can be a place where we coast. And, you know, maybe you're continuing the same spiritual practices, just not as diligently, not as intentionally. Maybe you aren't continuing those practices and some of those start to lapse. You just coast. And it is especially likely that you're going to coast when you're under moments of extreme stress where everything is piling on and you, you've got to get it done. You've got to address this thing now. And as the stress piles on, 
the difficulty piles on, it's really easy to just say, well, I can't do anything else right now. It's just going to coast. I'm going to drift. But the thing is, we aren't going to coast or drift toward being better, toward being more who we want to be. When things start to coast and things start to drift, it becomes less and less like what we think things should be. So you start coasting at work and you're no longer working as hard. You're no longer putting in the hours. You're no longer doing as good of work. And there are maybe some jobs where that's okay, um, but it still is not what it should be. It's not where things should be. You start coasting in your relationships and they start breaking down. Even if they're, they're still good relationships, they're not developing into what they could. You start coasting in your personal life and you're not becoming a better dad or a better wife. You're not becoming a better um, human person. You're not developing virtues and eliminating vices by coasting. In your spiritual life, you don't grow closer to God by coasting. You don't just sit back and go, ah, oh, you know, I'm just not going to really worry about it. And all of a sudden wake up one day and say, wow, I'm so close to God. Most Christians will say that they were closer to God when they first came to faith than they are now. And some of that just has to do with feelings that everything is new and there's so much energy. And some of that has to do with the fact that we often coast and we drift away. And when, when life gets hard and the stress piles on, it is so much easier to say, I'm just going to coast. I just have to coast for a little bit. And it's understandable to say that I cannot give 100% of my effort to everything all the time. But we are rarely ever intentional about what we say we're going to take away some effort from and what we say we aren't. Just everything coasts. And someday you wake up and you look at yourself and you kind of wonder, how did I get here? How, how did I get here in my job? Like, what is going on? You've drifted. And you're not where you wanted to be. Or, or in your finances, it can happen so fast financially for most of us. You... Uh, set out, you know, a very exact budget and, you know, dollar by dollar, cent by cent, you're saying, I'm going to build a uh, good financial place. And then you kind of start to coast because, you know, I want to ease up. I want to live a little. And before you know it, you're looking and it's like, how, where did this debt come from? You know, how did I max out these credit cards? You know, where did these charges come from and how am I ever going to get out? You drifted from where you thought you should be. And we're going to kind of look at some of this in the weeks ahead. It's going to be a bit of a theme, I guess. Um, but I think almost all of us coast at some point in some part of our life. We might coast physically and we look at ourselves and we think, oh my gosh, how did I let myself go? It could be in our jobs, it could be financially, it could be in our relationships. And we wonder, I, how did I become this friend or this spouse or you know this relative? How, how did I become like this in my relationships? I never wanted to be like that. It could be just personally. And we, we remember some of the things when we were growing and developing and uh, doing really well. We, we remember some of those things that made us uh, a better person. And we look back and we think, I, how did I lose this? It, it, or even in our character, being like, well, wait, I never wanted this to be true of me. I never wanted to be able to say this about myself. It could be in our spiritual life. Thinking, how did I get so far from God? How, how did I end up where I'm at now? How do I lose those spiritual practices that meant so much to me? How do I, 
How did I end up becoming who I am now? We're, we're going to look in the weeks ahead and, and we're going to get some answers in the weeks ahead about addressing this. But one of the things that I want to say is that one of the main ways that we end up getting there isn't intentionally. I think few of us end up there intentionally. No, most of us, we end up in that place because we drift. And the only way to improve where we're at is to recognize that we've been drifting and to start working to stop it. And so that's what we're going to be thinking deeply about in the next few weeks. How can we address the drift? The drift into being people we don't want to be like. The drift into uh, doing things, thinking things that we never wanted to. The, the drift away from God and away from who God wants us to be. And so I hope that you'll join me in the coming weeks to try to address the drift. Because I believe with all of my heart that who God wants us to be and where God is, that is the most amazing, wonderful, fun and enjoyable, but also greatest. That is the greatest place to be and the greatest person that we can be. So thank you for joining me this Saturday. I pray that you would join me in the coming Saturdays as well. God bless you all. Take care.